how do I discern the will of God through strategic prayers strategic prayers particularly praying in the spirit strategic prayers praying in the spirit here means praying in tongues this is one of the principal ways that the Bible provides as an instrument of discerning the will of God now hear me there are two levels of the will of God there is the will of God as far as the blueprint of your purpose and your destiny is concerned you will not hear God on that every day but there is the moment by moment dealings in your life that will lead you ultimately to that greater goal you need to hear the voice of God per day per moment you need to be in the will of God every time God will not be speaking to you about your destiny and your life every day but you need his will to know what he wants you to do per time per season prayer provides that platform to be able to buy into the mind of the spirit to know what God is thinking at the moment for you two scriptures first Corinthians chapter 2 very powerful scripture first Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 6 is God speaking to someone tonight 2 1 verse 6 be patient as I read ready look up please how be it we speak wisdom everybody say we speak wisdom he never said we speak tongues he called tongues wisdom he didn't say we speak tongues we speak wisdom among them that are mature or perfect he said yet not the wisdom of this world nor of the princes of this world that comes to naught he says next verse we are reading to 16 but we speak the wisdom of God how in a mystery what we are speaking is not gibberish what we are speaking is not jargon Paul is speaking by the spirit that when the believer begins to engage the prayer ministry that it is wisdom that you are speaking even though it is hidden in a mystery even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world for our glory the hidden wisdom that when you begin to engage the prayer ministry with understanding even praying in the spirit you are accessing the hidden wisdom of God verse 8 which none of the princes of this world knew for had they known this wisdom they would have spoken it too and discern do you know what he's saying that if the princes of this world knew that praying this wisdom could give you access to divine secrets they would have used it too to know what this entire calvary thing was about and they would not have crucified the lord of glory that means if they prayed if all the, the princes of this world if they knew how to pray somebody would have picked the signal of the essence of redemption that paul got and they would say hey don't crucify jesus his death will be the salvation of the world this is what paul is saying that they were watching jesus go to the cross they didn't know there was a deeper meaning and he said there was a there was a provision in the economy of god for someone to understand what god was doing but that the princes of this world they were not privy to that which gives that access that means somebody can tap into you can you can look beyond the things happening in the earth and ascend to the realm of the spirit and watch what is really happening and playing out if you judge destiny by the physical things happening there are times listen there are times that everything can be all right yet there is turbulence in the realm of the spirit it has not manifested yet but by the time you begin to ascend in prayer you will touch a dimension in the realm of the spirit where you can see the truth of what is happening that there is trouble brewing in the spirit even though there seems to be peace on earth and you can take advantage of that knowledge and correct it before it manifests are we together so I can through the ministry of prayer I can pray and ascend to tap into the wisdom of God and I can see that God intends 
I mean that Satan intends that something negative will happen or God intends that this is ah my God listen do you know do you know do you know I can have a visitor who is coming to my house and not know why the person is coming but I can tap into the wisdom of God and find out and see that that person's coming is part of a bigger program to bless me that knowledge will now help me to know how to prepare and receive that person knowing that he's not an ordinary visitor many of us have ruined precious moments because we're interpreting things just from the earthly realm hear me if you were in jerusalem in the days where jesus was born you would just find out that on a certain day children started dying and you'll be wondering what is happening in this territory why are children dying like this two years and below what is happening that is killing children but only a few people knew what was happening that all that killing was the chase of somebody who had been born you would get up one morning and just see the stars so bright and say my god the earth is shining not knowing that something marvelous just happened may you never be in the dark again in the name of jesus christ may you never be in the dark again there are many of us prophetic calendars shift and yet you don't know God is walking and doing things and yet you cannot see. You can't discern what God is saying. Man of God is a risk in this season to not know the current emphasis of God. Just because you are waiting for others to see before you see through them. Strategic prayer. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21. Something is shifting in someone's life. And thine ear shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. This is, he never said this is the only way. There are many ways, but he said to get the result you are looking for, this is the way, follow it. This is the way walk ye in it when ye turn to the right and when ye turn to the left this is the way walk ye in it why because of jeremiah i think jeremiah now 33 and verse 3 call on to me and i will answer the way will not just be revealed to you because you are sitting and crossing your leg call on to me and i will answer i will show you great and mighty things many years ago many years ago when we had our first crusade after that crusade because we usually would organize a crusade in partnership with pfn or at least some of the church body there after the crusade it was not a very it was not really a big crusade but at least jesus was glorified and afterwards i remember some of the pfn leaders called me they said why don't you come and establish a branch of the ministry there would give you some pastors you can train them and have it for most believers that look like breakthrough be careful when doors open even the prison has doors so when a door is open you better find out where you are entering nobody enters the prison except through a door every trouble has a door that leads to it so just because the door is open you can enter a door that would take prayer and the prophetic to open be careful our obsession for open doors without discernment will land us in trouble for many of you it's not closed doors that cause your trouble it was open doors is god helping someone tonight i went to god in prayer it was sincerely a very nice thing i went to god in prayer and i said lord this is what these sincere people are saying on account of what you did through our lives and i would repeat for you the exact words that god used for me he said you would die it didn't make sense for many years but now i understand exactly what he was saying the will of god 
at the time God helped us to start this ministry and I say this with all honor to Jesus I will never forget that time that was when ministries used to generate revenue principally from the media ministry then internet was not really the way it is now so you package your CDs package cassettes and then it will be a major stream of income I remember the Lord speaking to me and he said you will not sell any media material that you would put your raw audios not videos just audios online and that my angel will take it to the nations it didn't make sense but glory be to God the foolishness of discerning the will of God I told you that the will of God does not make sense in many regards as at the time his word comes but if you can obey everybody say prayer Amen. mark chapter 1 from verse 21 to 35 listen carefully to what i'm about to say now mark chapter 1 from verse 21 the bible says and they they went into capernaum jesus now and his people and straightway on the sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught watch his life while examining the life of jesus the bible says they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes so the word himself and then the bible says he taught with authority next verse and there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit and he cried out uh-huh saying let us alone what have we to do with thee thou jesus of nazareth art thou come to destroy us before our time we know that you are the holy one of god uh-huh verse 25 and jesus rebuked him saying hold your peace come out of him so we see that jesus touched the world with power we saw jesus ministering deliverance now 26 it says when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice he came out of him 27 and they were all amazed everybody say influence they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying what thing is this what new doctrine is this for with authority commanded he even the unclean spirits and they obey him next verse and immediately what happened his fame spread abroad but the bible is about to show us what he did that made all of he started with all of the marvelous results next verse 29 and forthwith when they were come out of the synagogue they entered the house of simon and andrews and james with james and john uh-huh 30 and simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever and anon they tell him of her what did he do and he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up and immediately the fever left her and she ministered unto them this was a celebrity already doing well the bible says when it was evening look at the schedule of jesus from the temple to heal this i'm sure they went to have some time of rest and he still ministered healing and then by evening he already had a crusade when the sun did set they brought unto him all that were diseased and possessed with devils next verse and the entire city were gathered together at the door uh-huh and he healed all that were sick of diverse diseases he casted out the devils he suffered not that they do not speak uh-huh and in the morning watch this wow so this was the secret study the schedule in the morning you are preaching and doing all of this later on even when you go to rest everybody is coming at you the reason for his power was that everywhere he went and everything he was doing was consistent with the will of God now the Bible says in all of his schedules the Bible does not tell us what he does in the morning now we have the privilege to know how his mornings are like he showed us afternoon and showed us night now he says and in the morning rising up a great while before day he went out and departed into a solitary place and the one who had miracles the one who had powerful preaching 
the one who could heal the sick at will the one who everybody was talking about went to a solitary place to pray brothers and sisters in the presence of this kind of result what do you think he was asking lord power to heal lord power to cast out devils lord revelation uh -uh. if it be thy will reveal your will the secret behind the exploits that everybody is talking about is because i know your will and i understand your program part time he says i do not do anything by myself as i hear i judge so jesus would go in the morning thank you father even though i have come to represent you but i pray that you reveal to me your will and the father reveals to him the will that today this and that and that is what will happen when you find the sick heal them there it is possible that they are going to bring a temptation for you they will bring a woman and caught in the middle of adultery and they are going to talk to you be silent and allow patience to make deception reveal itself and then when they bring such a woman jesus sits down and he's writing and then he lifts up his head and say he who does not have sin cast the first stone and the bible said they were convicted from the oldest to the youngest what kind of grace is that prayer most of you do not know what you are missing out when you get up and start your day without praying is 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 pride to get up and just start your day the one who made the day you will not find out how he designed all of this to be the one who made the day you are not asking him lord what is in it today there are many people god gave them the ministry but they never inquire of god on what to do they go around feeling what makes ministry work now and they say do this do that and they say fine they go and try it and it does not work and they are frustrated because they have not stayed with him to hear can i tell you i impart upon you by the spirit of god the grace for the secret place i impart upon you by the spirit of god somebody is receiving this grace the grace to stay with god and only move when you understand his will hallelujah I will never forget years ago I was supposed to go for a meeting in Kaduna I was already taking my bath and I was happy in fact they really had started the meeting but they would give me a two-hour gap and so I was taking my bath because it would take about an hour to get to Kaduna then from Zaria and while I was taking my bath the Holy Spirit spoke to me expressly he said do not go for that meeting not because there was anything wrong with the meeting very sincere people let someone stand for you ah i felt sad because these were people i loved sincerely i was going for that meeting to encourage the people they love jesus with all their heart i said how do i tell these people now they had put posters they had done the little and it was not like they had much i had to call two of my people in kaduna and say please go for this meeting and go and stand for me when i called the people they thought i was already around apostle are you around i said well i'm i'm really sorry I don't know how I'm going to tell you this, but um, I may not be able to come. God has restrained me from coming. What happened? Do we see now? We, we see that God. Mm -mm, mm -mm. For every time you hear God and walk in the will of God, there is a fearful blessing at the other side of your obedience. In fact, sometimes that can literally open the next chapter. Of your life and your destiny listen you must obtain grace from God to pray pray in the night pray in the morning you are a man of God don't say this is how they are doing it go to God and pray there are many things that are wonderful I have lovely friends in ministry in this nation and across the globe and some of them I even share with them by the privilege of God's grace ideas to be effective in some of the things that they do but I will never find myself in anything personally and corporately that has not been commanded by God. Do you know why? I learned this from God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo. He said, and this is, I'm saying it because he shared the story, that years ago they were in Ghana, and you know, they were in their season of expansion and all of that, and they went to Ghana, and they found out they were struggling in the ministry. 
even though the mandate was speaking globally and everywhere God was prospering the work but particularly in Ghana it seemed like there was a resistance and he went back to God in prayer and God said I have not commanded it according to him he said he, he insisted immediately that they should close that church walk circumspectly as wise not as unwise how do you walk as wise when you walk knowing the will of God concerning what you are doing hallelujah everything good is not necessarily godly if you follow things just because they are good you will get into many troubles Satan uses both good and evil to destroy it is not only evil he uses to destroy you have to know this and understand